Segovia is an entrancing, magical city in Spain's Castilla y León region. It straddles the ridge between the Glamores and Eresma rivers, at the foot of the Guadarrama mountains. In the late 1st century AD, the Roman Empire built a huge aqueduct to carry water from the mountains to the ancient town. That aqueduct is now the backbone of Segovia. The aqueduct conceals more than one mystery. Its stone blocks are held together without mortar, and it's also the hiding place, perhaps since its construction, for one of the city's most seasoned travellers, its swifts. Segovia would not be Segovia without its swifts, which in a way have a passport issued in Segovia. They return every April, flitting between the aqueduct's arches, cavorting in the season of love and adolescence. Silence descends on the city when the Swifts leave, but it waits for them with open arms, waiting for Segovia to be filled again with the sound of their chatter in flight, bringing back the warmth of spring and childhood memories. In 1985, Segovia and its aqueduct were declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Pilgrims pass through here on their way to Santiago de Compostela. The Alcazar Fortress rises above the valley like a ship's prow that carries Segovia towards the Sea of Castile. Alfonso X watched the world from here. Today its fairy tale appearance evokes stories and legends. Nearly four kilometers of walls surround the city, shelter for infinite numbers of swift, red-billed choffs and hawks. Segovia and its surroundings are a biodiversity paradise. Swifts and red-billed choffs, noble icons, a sure sign of integration between its historic and natural heritage. Summer visitors include swallows and bee-eaters. In winter, cranes and grebs. Kites, eagles, vultures, hawks and owls are permanent residents. Our lucky bird watchers can follow them without leaving the city. With such a great heritage, Segovia lives and breathes history. A multitude of churches with particular architectural styles, like the Segovia Romanesque. Medieval squares narrow streets in the Jewish quarter. Segovia, the epitome of culture. The great Spanish poet and writer Antonio Machado lived here and mentioned its swifts. The last swifts flit around the belfry. Children call out, leap and quarrel. Standing at the highest point in the city, the elegant Santa Maria Cathedral, known as the Grand Dame of Cathedrals for its harmony and grandeur. The walls along the streets seem to be woven by delicate hands. Segovia's traditional scruffito plasterwork. The people of Segovia are warm and friendly, even when the cool wind blows down from the mountains. Their joy and love of life can be seen in the streets and the beautiful main square, a meeting point for friends and swifts. Segovia, a university city of and for young people, with future opportunities. Segovia's famous gastronomy is a delicious invitation to enjoy its restaurants, hotels and cultural activities. 25 minutes from Madrid by high-speed train, 60 minutes by bus. Segovia is a perfect city for events and congresses. Its infrastructure is one of Spain's best. A hub for technical and cultural meetings with a city council that has opened its doors to us. One of my city council's lines for action is the preservation of Segovia's urban biodiversity. 
We want to become a point of reference in the environmental recovery of heritage zones. We are encouraging nesting by protected species linked to our city, like our swifts. I cordially invite you to hold the next International Congress on Swifts in Segovia. We will welcome you with open arms and doors, wide open like the arches of our aqueduct. In such a beautiful setting, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this encounter will undoubtedly be an enriching experience. We hope to see you. Foro Geobiosfera extends an invitation to hold the 2020 Congress in our city, to share experiences, knowledge and show our respect and love for Swifts. We say adios with a verse by another great Spanish author, Miguel de Unamuno. The Swifts have returned. Things of nature always come back. <laughs>